Hey guys, found a good Martin spot here. We're in a black spruce run. Uh, Martin really loves traveling that. And a comment we got on a video somewhere, I don't know if it was Sons of Winter or one that we did earlier, was criticizing us that we put the box in the ground and not in the tree. And we obviously don't know trapping. That's not how you trap Martin. Uh, those comments are generally made by people that don't actually have much knowledge on trapping because any trapper knows there's multiple ways to catch anything. And this happens to be a good way for us. Normally, normally we're setting where we've seen a track. So obviously they're traveling on the ground there anyway. So the Martin set, similar to the Fisher, same box, same trap, basically. This one's the Belial one. This is the one that I actually prefer. The safeties are a little stiffer, so you can actually turn the trap upside down and the safeties don't fall off and whatever. So I like that feature. Uh, same scent, we use the same scent for both of them. That skunk and aniseed oil and Vaseline and whatever else they'll manage to fit in there. But you'll notice this one, I have tucked in kind of in a little spruce tree here, not out in the open. Still want that knot with a bunch of prickly stuff in the middle of it, the opening of the trap. Um, there the trap is set. The other one, there's no way I could do that without the safety is coming off. And then if you, if it goes off and nails it, you're in trouble. This way, safeties aren't coming off until I take them off. Aren't coming off until I take them off. Aren't coming off until I take them off. The snow will fall out of the tree if I keep messing with it. So, I got the bait in there already. You notice they use bigger pieces of bait in these kind of traps? That's because while we're targeting Fisher and Martin, squirrels and weasels will also mess with things. And if you use small pieces of bait, they'll just go in past the trigger and drag the bait out. Next time you come, there'll be no bait. And if there's no bait, probably nothing's going to be going in there. So I like to use big ones so that if something tries to pull it out, there's no way they're getting it out without catching it, catching the trigger on the trap and setting the trap off. So you save bait that way and catch more animals. There's that. Do a gob of the good stuff up here. Now the big difference. Martin traps, you actually want to disguise. You don't want to leave them loud and in the open. So, uh, I guess I'll use some of these branches here. Spruce branches are what you use on these. You don't use pine, you don't use willow or anything. You want pine, you want needles, and you want spruce needles. So that's what they really like. So, come in from the sides a little bit with them. Both sides. You can either put a little twig from the bottom sticking up or hanging down from the top. So that as they brush past the trigger, it just feels like they're brushing through a twig like that. This one I think I'll put in the bottom. And put some up top. Grab a few more here. Just gonna grab a few more branches, I'll be right back. All right, so I got a few more branches here. Just finish camouflaging this. Because remember, the fisher is very sight oriented. He likes to see the box and come to it. The marten, not so much, they're a little wary about that, but they're still smelling the scent up in the tree. And then when they get closer, they'll smell the meat in there. So you don't have to worry that you're gonna hide it too well. But you also don't wanna completely block off the opening. 
So while it looks like it's pretty well blocked here, there's still a very easy access for them. So we just scatter a few more of these around. And put some more on top. So it feels like they're just going in for a meal in their normal spruce habitat. And that's that's a Martin set. Also very quick and easy. Just a couple little differences from the Fisher set, but very similar, same concept. And I guess that's pretty well it. Hopefully we'll have one here next time we come by. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if, as usual, if you have any thoughts or ideas or any ways that you do traps differently, we'd love to hear from you guys. Throw that in the comments and uh, we'll, uh, we'll respond. And maybe we'll try some of your guys' ideas later on. Hope you guys have a, have a great day. We'll see you later. Thank mm -hmm. you.